And while cases and deaths may get top billing with coronavirus stats, we've been watching a serious uptick that may very well put the medical profession in more of a pinch. Yeah, for the first time today, hospitalizations in Virginia hit 2,000. Tonight News Night's Stephanie Harris has more on how close we are to a crisis where that stands. Steph. Well, Anita Tom, the bad news is, yes, patient counts are going up everywhere in the state. That's according to the Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association. The good news, they say we still have ample bed space, more than double what's in use right now. At last check, there are 2,035 patients in Virginia hospitals with COVID or who are presumed to have COVID and are waiting for test results. There are currently nearly 7,000 beds available, counting those opened by the governor's emergency order. So the VHHA says the public should know that if they have a medical emergency of any kind, there is space and you should not delay care. Now that said, they warn of another potential problem for hospitals, their staff. It's not so much bed space in some places, it's about uh, staff availability because if you have a situation where you have staff exposure, which could lead to isolation or quarantine, that can impact the overall staff complement and staff availability. And that is why VHHA implores everyone to take those precautions, including wearing a mask and distancing yourself from others. Because Julian Walker says, while hospitals have come a long way in treating the virus and they have discharged more than 25,000 patients, if all the staff is out, you may be out of luck. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.